Hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to this tutorial. If you join the channel for the first time, please press the like button and subscribe. And uh, my name is Mackin Lee and I'm gonna bring you a tutorial today. And I hope you like it. And if you do, please share it to your friends and invite your friends to, to join the channel. And there are so many things that we will have available here for you guys. And um, I really, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll like it and you'll appreciate it. And it's not gonna be the first time you join the channel. And I will invite you to watch this video until the end. And uh, I'm pretty sure if you like music, and um, you'll learn so many things with the guitar because the guitar is a very beautiful instrument and actually today I'm gonna talk about the guitar about um, how to start playing the guitar actually present you the guitar part and know what is the guitar and yeah why you can do the guitar and know the, 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 the guitar parts like I said and um, uh, I'm pretty sure you will love it <laughs> I need a music is something very important. We cannot live without music. And whoever you are, and um, uh, no, no matter the fields that you are in, and everybody needs to to listen to music. Everybody needs the vibe of music. Everybody needs the music and inspiration. You know, and uh, I'm pretty sure everybody likes an instrument. Probably you don't have time to play it. You don't have time to learn probably um, you're too busy for that probably you want to start learning you know but everybody everybody likes an instrument and this is the reason why today I decided to bring this tutorial for you today and uh, let's get started together with me all right and um, I'm gonna start with the guitar this is a guitar this is an acoustic guitar and you know we have um, different type of guitar we have acoustic guitar we have electronic guitar and um, we have um, guitar bass guitar we have um, I can say solos guitar we have different kind of guitar especially in the rhythms um, for people who play rhythms like if, if you play the jazz the blues and the gospel worship no matter the ones you, the, the rhythm you play you know you're gonna use a guitar probably it's gonna be acoustic it's gonna be uh, an electronic guitar um, uh, you need um, uh, to know the, the, um, the type of guitar that we have available and you know we have the bass guitar as well which is um, something something else it is a guitar but <laughs> it is something else i mean we don't play it the same way as we play the guitar the six strings guitar when i'm talking about six strings guitar i'm talking about the the guitar which is sound major because you know the bass is like is the, you know low you know we have um six strings bass as well and um uh, actually i'm not gonna talk about that but you know i'm gonna talk specifically specifically about the guitar and um the guitar we have a um, guitar of six strings seven strings eight strings 12 strings 18 24 strings 16 strings as well but you know if you want to get started you want to get started you have to get started here with this guitar Probably not with acoustic guitar, but with a guitar like this, with six strings, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna show you the guitar, gonna present you the guitar, okay? This is an acoustic guitar, like I said, and um, let's say uh, this is the the guitar head, the head of the guitar. I'm just gonna start here until I jump here, okay? And um, this is the head of the guitar, and actually, um, this is the tuning keys. This is the keys that we use to to put the guitar in tune. You know, this is the we, the reason we call it tuning keys. Okay, if you wanna put your guitar in tune, this is what you're gonna use. Okay, so it is very important to know how to use it. You know, 
and you, if the guitar is out of tune you're not gonna be able to to play you're not gonna be able to give a good harmony the sound is not gonna be really good you know this is the reason why we need the the tune you know the um the tuning keys and this is the knot you see this right here it is the knot okay this is the one that keep the strings you know and range if not the strings gonna mix all together you know it's, it's gonna be difficult you know to play in, and um, to try and find them okay this is the head this is the tuning keys this is the knot okay and i'm um, actually this is the the guitar um neck this is the neck of the guitar you can see the neck of the guitar this is it all right and um, we're gonna jump right here and um here this is um the the fingerboard this is where you put your fingers you know fingerboard 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 okay this is the fingerboard and we have this thing right here which is the fret okay this is the fret so it is the one that help you to identify the 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 board of the fingerboard okay and um you know it's like slicing the board one after one this is the fret okay and um let's go down here this is the point this is the points that we have here just to show the, the positions you know on the guitar and um remember this is the the guitar neck and this is the guitar heel over here heel this is the guitar heel okay and when we jump here this is those strings you know the guitar has six strings this is those strings okay and shortly i'm gonna show you how to count the guitar strings you know i'm gonna start one two three four five six right this is the guitar strings and i'm um, actually this is the um um sound hole you know the sound hole this is the one that's giving the sounds okay this is the sound hole this hole that you see here it is the sound hole and then this is the guitar body okay the guitar body that's it this is the guitar body and um this one right here i'm gonna show you it you know this one right here it is the saddle 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 this right thing here it I, I can say it does almost the same thing as the neck as the knot okay it is it's put the the strings in position you know just for them to do not mix in one another all, all together you know it just um fix the strings this is um the saddle and this black thing here okay it is the bridge the bridge the name is the bridge and these things here like paints this is the bridge paints okay the bridge paints is keep the guitar strength i mean when you put it in tune without the the bridge paints they're gonna move you know they're gonna be out of tune or and so on i mean the bridge paints and the tuning keys these are very important to keep your guitar in tune sometimes some guitar they don't stay in tune probably the tuning keys have problem you probably need to change it or um the bridge paints they're moving sometimes you know i don't know they're moving sometimes that i can say and um uh, this is the uh, i can say this is the end paint i mean these are the guitar body okay this is all the guitar body and um this is the back of the guitar okay and um actually um pretty much this is what it is i think you see the guitar i'm gonna start again this is the head this is the tuning keys this is the knot this is the hand bar, um, fingerboard, or fretboard, fingerboard. This is the frets. This is the neck of the guitar. 
this is the heel this is the point positions this is the guitar body this is the strings this is the sound hole you see this is the sound hole this is the um this is the bridge the black thing is the bridge and this is the bridge pins this is the saddle the saddle and the guitar body the end pins right and um, i'm gonna say something about the guitar guitar is, a, is an instrument very important you know beautiful instrument and i can say in most of the rhythms um we have the guitar playing and you know you know the effect of the guitar and when when somebody's playing guitar it's something very nice and shortly i'm gonna say something about the guitar okay the guitar is a fretted musical instrument that typically has six strings like i say six strings okay and it's held flat against the player's body i mean you just hold it you know against your body you know like this all right and um and played by strumming or plucking the strings with the dominant hand so how do you play the guitar you play it by um strumming or plucking the strings you know you know you're strumming or you're plucking the strings and um with the dominant hand i can say the dominant hands i in other words i can say with the right hand you know you pluck or you strum the, the strings right and while simultaneously pressing the strings against frets with the fingers of the opposite at the same time you you i mean you strumming the strings or you plucking the strings you use the the other hands which is the other hand which is the opposite hand you know to to press i can say the the hand um the the, the fingerboard you see the fingerboards you know you press them simultaneously you know you press them you know you press like when you're looking for the notes and shortly i'm gonna show you that i'm gonna show you what i'm saying okay so like i said while simultaneously pressing the strings against the against frets with the fingers of the opposite you use the fingers of the opposite hand you know to press the strings against the frets you know this is the frets that i just showed you okay a plectrum or individual finger picks may be used to strike the strings so you can use individual fingers you know to strike the strings and the sound of the guitar is projected by either acoustically by means of the resonant chamber on the instrument or amplified by an electronic pickup and an amplifier so as i was talking about the the guitar the acoustic guitar or the electronic guitar so you can ask yourself why um if i have a guitar which is an electronic guitar why can it why i cannot hear it loudly the same way i'm listening to the the acoustic guitar remember the acoustic guitar is the way that you touch it the way you pluck the way you strumming this is how you get the sound but even though you do the same on the on the um electronic guitar um you're not gonna be listening to it um loudly if it's if it doesn't amplify it you need to amplify it you need to i mean this is the reason why it has the the the, the button right here and you know the pickup under the strings if you used to see um the, the electronic guitars you'll see they have two or three or four pickups over here that's grab the sound and send it to the button over here then you can control the volume you can um once you press the cable in there and then you press it in the amplifier and then you'll hear the sound this is how you um you can hear the sound you know and um with the guitar with the electronic guitar you know you need to um amplify it by an electronic pickup or an um, and plug it in an amplifier you know just to get the sound i mean this is not what i'm going to talk about today 
and you know as i'm talking about the guitar i'm just trying to to um to, to say something about it and i don't have an electronic guitar handy it is an acoustic guitar i have here so um i'm gonna keep talking about the the, the acoustic guitar i'm just like saying something about the electronic guitar all right and um the guitar is very important like i said and um uh, i'm gonna jump and the name of the swings where to find notes and so on and i hope you're taking notes and you're taking your time to listen to this video and um if you're watching keep watching until the end keep learning with us and we really appreciate that and um you can take a notebook and just write down some notes if there are some things that you didn't know please write it down and later on so you can go and review down then we can you know you can review them so you can you know you can keep them in mind and um, as you learning guitar and um uh, yes this is pretty much what it is um the guitar is very nice and i'm gonna jump and the process of playing the guitar what is the process of playing the guitar like i said you use the both hands the left hand and the right hand you use them the right i mean the, i mean let me start with the right hand with the right hand what you do you strumming or you plucking the strings to get the sound with the left hands what do you do you press the fingers on the strings okay against the fretboard or on the um finger bar you know on the finger bar you just press to get the notes okay if i'm if i'm like strumming the strings i'm not gonna um without like pressing the the, the finger bar i'm not gonna you know here is something different it's gonna be the same thing yeah this is this is when i press the left hands on the on the fret bar or on the finger bar and then depending where i press it i'm gonna have different sounds okay so i'm gonna start with the with the strings how do we count the strings of the guitar we start over here down there to go up there like i go one two three four five six okay like i said we have six strings in the guitar okay and we're gonna know we're gonna see with the first strings what's the name of the first strings the name of the first strings it is e can you hear it this is the name of the first string so it is e i mean you just press it with the um right hand with this finger you see the finger like press e one e okay i press it with this finger and i'm gonna go with the second string the second string which is b press it with this strings this uh, with this finger sorry uh -huh. B. B. I press with this finger the second strings and I'm going I'm not gonna go ahead with this third string which is G, G. 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 okay this is G you see this finger and um, this finger it is for three other finger for the three other strings that we have on the top i'm gonna go with d with the fourth swings d. D. d this is the fourth swings the name is d i'm gonna go with the fifth swings the name is a. A. a and i'm gonna go with the sixth swings the sixth swings which is e again E, E, E. So now, I think you almost know the name of the strings. I'm gonna start again. E, B, G, D, A, E. Okay.
Okay, so you see, you hear it, right? We can take you along, we can, we can write it down, all right? And um, I'm gonna go back with the fingers. Remember, we use the four, the four fingers that we have here. The, this finger, we use it for the first swings, for the first string. This, this finger, we use it for the second string. And this finger, we use it for the third string. And this finger, we use it for the, the other two, I'm sorry, the other three strings that we have in the top form, D, A, E, okay? This is, we use this finger for it, okay? So now, I'm gonna go back again, the name of the strings, the numbers, and the fingers that we use. Please take your time, that's why I'm going slow with you, and uh, take your time to see it, to see the strings that I'm touching, and uh, if you have your guitar with you, you can pause the video and um, try not to do the same thing that I'm doing. Okay? This is the way you can um, memorize the, the name of the strings, the numbers, and you can see exactly, you can have a better understanding about what I'm saying. Alright? And um, let's go back again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which is A, B, G, D, I'm sorry, which is E, B, G, D, A, E. Let's start again. E, B, G, D, A, E. Okay? This is the name of the strings. Let's go. A, I'm sorry, E, B, G, D, A, E. Okay? So now, as you already know it, you can practice. Okay? You can practice. Okay? We spread the fingers. This finger is for E. This one is for B. This one is for G. This finger is for D. A and E, the three strings that we have on the top. Now, let's see. We have high, medium, and low. Okay? We have the two fingers, the first and the second, I'm sorry, we have the two strings. The first and the second strings, they are high strings. You can hear? The sound is a little high which is sounds differently from the other ones. The two, the two strings, the two first strings, they sound differently from the other ones. You can hear it is high. E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate the, the third string and the fourth string, and you'll hear it sounds differently. This is the medium sound, the high sound, the medium sound, okay, you see what I'm saying, let's go with the two other strengths, A, E, A, E, which is the low sound, it sounds low, mm -hmm. A, E, A, E. You understand that? Okay, let's go back. E, B. This is, it sounds high. G, D. It sounds medium. This is the medium sound. A, E. This is the low sound. It sounds low. Okay? So you know that. Now, you can review the video again and again. And now we're going to see where we can find the note the seven notes that we use to play the music you know whatever all morning whatever things that you're listening whatever beautiful things you're listening it's come from the seven notes it's come from the seven notes which is c d e f g 
G B okay let's go again C D E F G A B this is the seven notes that we have that we use to make whatever beautiful solos whatever beautiful chords whatever great great things that you're listening in the music or in an harmony so let's see and first of all we're gonna use the three fret bar or the three finger bars that we have and the top of the guitar which is the first one the second one and the third one this is the finger board the finger boards that I'm talking about and um with the first finger boards what do which 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 finger do we use now I'm talking about the left hand I was talking about the right hand now I'm talking about the left hand with the left hand we use these three fingers can you see it these three fingers one two three okay okay the same way you see i put it in the finger bar boards let's see the first finger board we use this finger the second finger board we use this finger the third finger board we use this finger can you see it one two three one two three all right so now what are we gonna do we're gonna see where we can find the notes the seven notes that we're talking about so let's let's make a trick before we get started let's try to do something smart okay if this finger is e and uh, probably not probably i mean like i know after e after e f is f after f is g okay I can say if this string is E and now the next one will be F the next one will be G okay E F G E F G okay E F G this is something smart we're doing okay let's go with the second string if the second string is B, after B, which note will come after B? After B, let's think. Okay. After B, it is B, C, D. B, C, D. B, C, D. Okay. B, C, D. B, C, D. B, C, D. All right, you get that. And then let's go with the third string. I know the third the third string it is G. Let's hit G. And after G, we have A and after A we have B. G A B. G A B. Let's go with the fourth string. The fourth string as I know it is D. After D we have E, E, and after E we have F. D, E, F. Okay, let's go with the fifth strength. The fifth strength, the name is A. After A we have B. After B we have C. Okay. Let's go with the sixth strength. The sixth strength, the name is E. E. Okay. So now after E is F. After F is G. So if you pay attention if what I was doing, guess what? We almost have it. We almost have the seven seven notes, which is C D E F G A B. Let's go. We will see. First of all, 
we have C in different part of the guitar. We can have C in the second string, which is in the first head bar or finger bar, which is this C, or as we using the as we using the third. I mean the the, the third the three first finger bar we can see we have we're gonna have it on the third finger bar on the sixth on I'm, I'm sorry on the fifth string which is here okay let's get started we have C on the fifth string and the third finger bar C, C. okay if you have your guitar handy do it together with me C. okay after c you know we have d d is and the fourth strings we we hit it like this we don't press anything here just free d Okay, we're gonna start over. C D. Okay. Now after D we have um, E. We're gonna have where we're gonna find E. E is in the fourth string and the second finger bar, which is in the fourth string. Let's go here. E. We're gonna start over. D, I'm sorry, C, D, E, okay, C, D, which is the fourth string, let's go, C, D, E, F, okay, let's go again, C, you know it is in the fifth swing, in the third finger bar D which is in the fourth strings in the second finger bar uh, no no and the fourth strings free D E which is in the fourth strings in the second finger bar F, which is in the fourth string, in the third fig finger bar. Okay, let's do it. Once again. Okay, let's repeat it together with me. C D E F. Once again. C D E F. Don't forget, C is in the fifth string and the third finger bar. Remember, you, you touch it with this finger, okay? And D is in the fourth string, free, okay? E, it is in the fourth string and the second finger bar. F. It is in the third um, finger bar, the fourth strings. Okay, and I'm um, uh, let's go back again once again. So, since you already know that, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and see the other notes that we have left since you already know the four notes which is C D E F now we're gonna go to G A B C let's go now remember the process of the fingers right now once we're gonna go to G we're gonna use this finger remember that okay G G G G it is in the 3rd 
third um third string second um third string three right g and a which is in the third string second finger bar okay and let's go again g third string three a third string second finger bar now let's do it together G A G A. So now we're gonna go to B and C. B. You already know that it's all. It is in the second, second strings. You, you just hit that three. Second strings. It is three. And then um, C second strings first finger bar. B, C, B, C. Remember, in the second strings, I hit it with this finger, right? So, we're gonna start again. G, A, B, C. Look at this. G, A, B, C. ABC, where to touch it, where to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and put them all together, right? Let's go. Okay. Let's go. C D E F G A B C. Let's go again. C D E F G A B C. So I'm gonna do a little wake up. C fifth strength, third finger bar. D fourth strength three. E fourth strength second finger bar. F fourth strength. Third finger board, G, third strength three, A, third strength second finger board, B, second strength three, C, second strength first finger board. Okay, let's go. again once again so now you're gonna take your time to practice it right this I do it ascendantly okay and um, after that we'll do it the other way which is this in it right let's keep practicing if you have a guitar handy keep practicing this all right keep practicing this let's go once again so as you already know that since you already practice that and you're already good at it no worries if your finger is hurting no worries about that after a couple of days you'll make it better your finger is not gonna hurt anymore so you have to be patient now we're gonna do it the other way we're gonna come back we're gonna go and come back let's go now let's repeat it C D E F G A B C. Now we're gonna come back, right? C B E G F E D C. Once again, C B E G F E D C. Okay, let's go. The way of coming back. Um, C, remember that, which is in the 
a high strength, which is the second strength, the high sound. C, second strength, first finger board. B, second strength, three. A, um, third strength, second finger board. G, third finger board, three. F, fourth, fourth strength, third finger board. Um, E, fourth strength, second finger board. D, fourth strength, three. C, fifth strength, third finger board. Let's go. Once again. C, D, A, A, G. as slow as you can and after a couple of days you will do it very well okay okay once again okay you get it right you can do it the way to go and the way to come back. Let's go. Now we're gonna focus on the hands and the fingers. Like with this left hand, remember I told you that the fingers, we're gonna use these, these three fingers. This finger is for the first finger bar, the second finger is for the second finger bar. And this finger is for the third finger board. Like any strings that I'm touching on the first finger board, it should be this finger, you see? And any strings I'm touching on the second finger board, it should be this finger, right? And any strings I'm touching right here on the third finger board, any strings, it should be this finger. This is the reason why you have to focus, you have to pay attention to it, you know? and all the strings know where you're putting your fingers right for example you see and let's go with this hand remember the first strings like i told you you hate it with this finger the second string with this finger the third string with the same finger and um, this finger is for the three other strings in the top, which is D, A, E, D, A, E, huh? okay? So, I'm gonna show you a little thing here. It's nothing, no worries. It is something simple. D, I'm sorry, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, C, simple, no worries, it's just something that I add on the notes that I was doing. Okay, I take a break, C, B, A, G, G, A, B, C, alright, it's nothing, no worries, okay? Let's go once again. I mean, I want you to try to do it together, right? Take your time. If it's if you need to post the video, please post the video just to practice it. After you get this part, you keep watching. You keep watching until the end. Okay, let's go. Nothing serious, just 
something like I know when you just get started with the guitar your hands your fingers they, they're gonna hurt you you know your fingers are going to hurt you and then you'll see a little mark in your fingers by the strength I'm gonna tell you just for the couple of days that you get started but after a few days and you'll be fine your fingers are not gonna hurt you anymore and um, you, you, I mean, your your hands like this part is not gonna crack, it's not gonna hurt, and you'll feel fine. You can spend the whole day, the whole night playing, and you're gonna be fine. And the only thing that you need to do right now is to be patient. You know, patient enough and do it slow. Even though it's hurting, you, you, you try for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it's hurting you, you put the guitar there, after 15 minutes you come back and keep practicing keep practicing and your fingers will go long to it you know and um, uh, go slowly because you need to respect the the finger bar the strings with, with which finger I should touch the strings with finger I, I should put in, the, in this finger bar all of these things are very important you know because if you need to play as a professional if you need to play guitar very really well it's it's required a little patience, a little time, you know, go slow and then, you know, and you'll make it, trust me, all right? Let's go back again. Please keep practicing. And I want you to do that with me. In order to keep the, 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 na the name of the, of the notes and to see where they are, to remind where they are, I require that you repeat it together with me or you repeat it at the same time you're doing the notes like if you hit C you say C for example C D E F G A B C once again C D E F G A B C C B A G F E B B D C C B A G G A B C. Just use this trick for five minutes, ten minutes, and after that you you realize that oh I know it oh this is C this is F okay I see you know by repeating you will you you know you will see where the things are you will remind everything you know you will remind everything so that's it. And um, so once you're practicing, 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 and you'll see. Remember to respect the name of the notes, to know where they are, respect the fingers that you're touching the finger bar, and respect the fingers that you're touching the strings over here. Otherwise, you're gonna screw it up. Trust me, you're gonna screw it up. And you have to follow the rules. You have to be careful and remember how we do it, how it should be done, and then you know you will sound like a professional. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a little trick now. Take a look with me. Yeah, see. This is this chord is F. I mean, I'm gonna take my time in the next video to explain you this, but if you're smart, you can try and do that, right? This chord is C, the chord of C. You put the this finger and the fifth string, the second bar, on um, the third bar, this finger on, on the fourth string, the second finger bar, and this finger. On the second strings and on the first finger bar, look. It sounds like this. C. This is G. Look how we, we do G. This finger is on the sixth strings. 
the third finger bar this finger is on the fifth twang on the second finger bar and this finger right here it is on the first twang the third finger bar right let's go G. I'm gonna play it for you two times each one go a little slow you know for you can see that C F look how I do F I put this finger on the the first and the second strings on the first finger bar this finger on the third strings on the second finger bar this finger on the fourth strings on the third finger bar all right let's go which is F of F F E B C B B A G G A B C F E B C F E B C It's beautiful but I strain I strongly recommend that you try this just after just after you finish the first thing that I was teaching right here after you know how to do this is what I'm gonna bring you today to the other one okay so I strongly recommend that you work on the seven notes how to do them how to position your fingers and the finger bar and your think this on um, this hand the fingers on the strings and see how you do that and once you're good at it and you can try the one that i was teaching this one you can try this after that so um before I, I start with this tutorial today and i'm gonna go ahead and have a recap about what i was teaching today and this is the guitar the acoustic guitar you know this is the head the tuning keys and um, this is the knot this is the neck of the guitar this is the finger bar the finger bar this is the frets, the finger bar, this is the position point, and this is the strings, okay? This is the heel of the guitar, heel, this is the guitar body, okay? This is the body of the guitar, this is the sound hole, this hole that you see here. Um, this, this is the bridge, this is the bridge pins, and this is the saddle over here. The saddle, let's help to fix the strings, 
you know, the same as the nut, you know, they, they do the same thing. One on the top, one on the bottom, just to, to keep um, the strings, just for them to not mix together. And um, the bridge pins is, you know, to keep the strings for them to do not move, you know, because if this move, if, if they move, the guitar will be out of tune. And um, this is the guitar body, this is the back of the guitar. And actually, you already know how to count the, the, the strings. You start over here, down to go up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you remember the fingers. This one for the first finger, this one for the second strings, this one for the third strings. And this one is for the three other strings and the, and the, and the, and the top. All right, so you remember the name of the string, which is um, E, B, G, D, A, E. So remember that I was showing you how to do the seven notes on the, on the guitar, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and go back, C, B, A, G. teaching you this at the end okay before I finish this video I'm gonna leave you something to do something to practice you know and um, you can go ahead and practice this Okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay. Try to practice that for me. This is a homework that I leave with you guys. Please try to practice it. I was, I'll do it again slowly. practice that for me and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video please if you like this video press the thumbs up button and share it to your friends leave me a comment if you have any questions or any concern maybe anything that you you want to know please leave me something in the comment section and invite your friends to to see this video or share the link to them if you know somebody who wants to learn how to play the guitar and I believe that this video will be um, useful for for your friends. Share it to them, and you know. And uh, I'll be so grateful to y'all. And thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.